When a teacher hears their voice in the front of the room as they're talking to their students, they are not hearing the same thing the student hears in the back row of the room. There is always something competing for the student's hearing in a classroom. It's feet shuffling on the floor, heating and ventilation systems, noises outside the room, students talking to each other, paper shuffling. It's compounded by the fact that classrooms themselves create a problem by the way they're designed. And it's called, simply put, echo. When you're compensating for sound that is too loud or too quiet, you're investing a lot of mental energy. And that's energy that I would rather see spent on what they do with what they've heard instead of just trying to understand the words. What we have here in this room is called a sound field system. It's actually made up of two parts. It has a microphone component that the teacher talks into, and then it has a speaker which reproduces the teacher's voice. If we can get all the students in the classroom to hear better, they will also understand better. Understanding is what we're trying to accomplish. It's not loudness. Loudness actually makes the problem worse. In this classroom, there were audio dead spots. I was back in the back corner near where one of the students was sitting, and I could not hear what the instructor was saying when he was speaking in his normal voice. Uh, the moment he turned on his transmitter, I could hear him as if he was standing next to me. That's a huge difference. We have students who natively speak over 50 languages, who are now operating in an English classroom. We have students who have hearing difficulties, which may or may not be officially known by that teacher. We have students who will have auditory processing difficulties because they just haven't developed the mental pathways yet to fully recognize phonemes. We have students who are wounded by the loud speakers they've been listening to in the car or by the settings on their earbuds. And all of those are barriers the students have to overcome to understand the message the teacher is delivering. Who benefits from the system? Our students, because they will be better prepared to succeed. Our teachers, because they will see that their energy has been used more effectively. Our parents, because their students will be progressing faster. And our community, because a primary goal of the district is to, to float all boats, you know, to have broader and broader success impact the community in lasting ways. <laughs>